Hey there, welcome to another episode of Start That Business. It's Thanksgiving Day, yay! Happy Thanksgiving. If you're in the United States and you're listening to me, happy Thanksgiving to you. My other listeners from other countries, you might be wondering why I'm so excited. (laughs) Thanksgiving Day is such a special time to reflect and thank God for all his blessings in our lives. So it's a special day in the U.S. where we pause to reflect and thank God for all his blessings. And of course, we eat a lot of turkey. (laughs) Go easy on the turkey today. I want to especially thank you. Yes, you listening to me right now. Thank you so much, my listener. Thank you so much for listening to this podcast from January to February to March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October. Now we are in November. Thank you so much. You are still here. You're just amazing. (laughs) What would I do without you? (laughs) I'm so excited, as you can see. Thank you so much for making this journey worthwhile for me. Thank you for listening. I'm able to show up every week to serve you because I know that you're on the other side listening and learning and soaking it all in. Now, in today's episode, I will be sharing five ways I incorporate giving back into my online coaching business so that I can become a business on a mission. You don't want to miss this episode. So kick back, relax, and let's get ready to soak it all in. Let's dive into today's episode. You have a strong desire to start a service-based business, but you're struggling with clarity on your idea, self-doubt, fear of public failure, feeling overwhelmed with too much information, and unsure about how to begin, what steps to take, and when to take them. Huh. I understand the frustration of scrolling through Instagram and feeling unfulfilled wondering why it seems everyone else is fulfilling their purpose effortlessly while you're not. That is why I created the Business Clarity Blueprint. If you're ready to streamline your focus and get clarity to start your service-based business, the process is simple. Step one, go to startthatbusinesspodcast.com. Step two, Download the Business Clarity Blueprint. Step three, create your Business Clarity Blueprint. You don't want to get to the end of your life and regret not taking the first step to start your business and fulfill your calling. You can become the Christian woman who dares to start a business that impacts lives, glorifies God, and turns a profit instead of bearing your God-given ideas. Are you ready to partner with the Holy Spirit and take a faith-filled step to start your service-based business? Go to startthatbusinesspodcast.com and download the Business Clarity Blueprint. Let's get into today's episode. Hey sis, welcome to the Start That Business Podcast, where you will find practical solutions that empower you to start your service-based business. I'm your host, Chichi Ukomadu, an entrepreneur, wife, mom of three, and a Jesus follower. Ten years ago, I was afraid of giving up my desire to build a corporate career and say yes to the Holy Spirit's nudge to start that business. I believe personal fulfillment comes from letting go of your way and saying yes to God's way so you can become all you were created to be. If you're ready to find personal fulfillment, Grab a cup of coffee, tea, or hot cocoa, and your favorite snack. It's time to take your first step to start that business. You know the one I'm talking about? Yes, that one you've been putting up for a long time. (laughs) Happy Thanksgiving again to you. I am so thankful for you, and I'm excited that you are still here. One of my life philosophies is a saying in scripture that says, freely you have received, freely you give. It is a life philosophy. It's a guiding principle 
that I have embraced, that I imbibe, and I live by. I have always incorporated giving into any business venture I've done. As a matter of fact, my full name is Chinyere, and it means God's gift. So as a result, I love to give. <laughs> I love to give gifts. I love to receive gifts. That's my love language. I am very big on giving. For those that are close to me or know me, I am constantly looking for an opportunity to give. So it is something that I find very worthwhile to do in business. As a matter of fact, in my first business, we started doing what we called a treat. We call it the Hiroshi treat. And it was simply taking my favorite thing to eat, which is chocolate with nuts. So we'll take like the Hershey's chocolate or chocolate waffle, put it in a little bag with inserts. So just like, just think about a fortune cookie that you eat in a Chinese restaurant. You eat the cookie and you pull out the insert and it has this really cool quote or really cool word. So I was inspired by the fortune cookie to create a treat for my customers, for my first service-based business. So every customer order we ship out, we include the chocolate in there. And guess what we put in it? We put scriptures. Oh, what other way or what other fun way it will be to receive a treat and you receive God's word to encourage you and inspire you. So that's how much I love to give. And I incorporate giving in as many businesses or many ventures or things that I am involved in. So when I started my online coaching business, I knew that it was not going to be different. I was going to continue in the same tradition, in the same philosophy that freely I have received and freely I will continue to give. So that leads me to the five ways I incorporate giving back into my online coaching business so that I can become a business on a mission. The first way I incorporate giving back is I adopt the mindset that it all belongs to God and I'm just a steward. Yes, that is very important. In this day and age where we hear people say, oh, I'm a self-made millionaire, I'm a self-made this, I'm a self-made that. I personally hate that word self-made. Because when I know that God is the one who gives me power to make wealth, when I know that I am absolutely nothing without him, I cannot be self-made. So I adopt the mindset that everything I have, everything I make in business belongs to God. And I am a steward. That mindset makes it easy for me to give back to any cause, to give back to the things that the Holy Spirit lays on my heart to give to. So it's one way that I give back. I start with the mindset. It doesn't belong to you, Chi-Chi. God is walking through you. You're making profit, but it belongs to him. So you are just a steward. So that's the number one way that I incorporate giving back. The second way I incorporate giving back is I set aside a percentage of every sale towards giving. I actually have a giving account. I don't know if you remember the episode where I talked about Profit First, an accounting system that here helps you manage your cash flow. It talks about setting up five different accounts. I added one additional account called my giving account, and I set aside a percentage of my profit to go into the giving account so that I will always have to give so that I don't have to scramble around to look for money to give so that I'm able to plan my giving and give when the need arises. So that's the second thing I do to incorporate giving back. I set aside a percentage from every sale toward giving and I put it in my giving account. The third thing I do to incorporate giving back is I give to kingdom causes I'm passionate about from my giving account. Again, you see the importance of 
setting up the giving account. Once I have the account set up and I move a percentage of my sale in there, I let the money accumulate. So every quarter or biannually or annually, I have a list of kingdom causes that I'm passionate about. So these are nonprofit organizations who are on a mission to solve a problem or to do something in the world that brings glory to God. So I have a couple that I support. I am passionate about any cause that empowers women, girls, widows, uh, women in business. I'm always excited and I look out for such causes so that I can keep adding it to my list. And as my giving account grows, I'm able to give more to these businesses. I also give to medical mission. I give to missionaries who are on the field, preaching the gospel, spreading the good news of Christ. So every opportunity I see to give towards a kingdom cause, I grab it with <laughs> all of me. I'm so always excited to give towards such causes. Another way I incorporate giving back in my online coaching business is I give an intentional thank you gift to every customer who signs up to coach with me. Yes, <laughs> yes, 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 I do. And it's something I am excited about. I look forward to it. So if you ever sign up to coach with me, you will get an intentional thank you gift uh, for signing up. And it will not just be a pen or a notepad. It will be something that will transform your life. So it's something I am excited about. So if you haven't yet signed up to coach with me, you can go to Start That Business Podcast and click on the Book Session Now button to book your coaching session so you can get your intentional thank you gift from me. The last way that I incorporate giving back into my business is I give back to my family, I give back to my church, I give back to other kingdom initiatives, like I said, that I discover or I find out about along the way. So I set aside funds to give to my family, to give to my church, to give to other people so that I am spreading the love of God as freely as I've received it. I'm freely giving out to the different people God has placed in my circle, God has placed in my path. And because we're talking about giving, I have a bonus, <laughs> a bonus point, and this will be number six. So the sixth way that I, I incorporate giving back into my online business is I give back to other business owners by using their services, leaving reviews, and recommending them to potential customers I come across. Now, this is huge, especially as people of faith. The scripture says that we will reap what we sow. So when we give, we will get back in return. It says give and it will come back to you. Good measure, press down, shaking together, running over. Shall men give unto your bosom? It says the same measure that you give will be what you receive. So this is one of the ways I give back. I give back to other female business owners, even male business owners. Once I use their services, I'm always excited to see new business owners out there. I patronize their services. I leave reviews. I recommend them to potential customers because that's a way to give back and that's a way to help their businesses grow. So these are the ways that I give back or incorporate giving back into my online coaching business. All right, let's recap real quick. Five ways I incorporate giving back into my online coaching business so that I can become a business on a mission. Number one, I adopt the mindset that it all belongs to God. I am just a steward. Number two, I set aside a percentage of every sale towards giving, and I actually put it in my giving account. Number three, 
I give to kingdom causes I'm passionate about from my giving account. Number four, I give an intentional thank you gift to every customer who signs up to coach with me. Number five, I give back to my family, my church, and other kingdom initiatives from my profit. And number six, which was the bonus point, I give back to other business owners by using their services, leaving reviews, and recommending them to potential customers I come across. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 11 says, There's a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens. This is the season to reflect, to be thankful, and give back out of the abundance of your heart and your substance. I pray that the Holy Spirit will show you ways to incorporate giving into your business so your business can become a business on a mission. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much for hanging out with me on today's episode. I hope you learned something new and you were encouraged. If you are ready to streamline your focus and get clarity to start your service-based business, go to startthatbusinesspodcast.com and download the Business Clarity Blueprint. Please share this episode with someone so they can get the help they need. Keep listening for more exciting episodes. I'll meet you here next week. Hey sis, before you go, if this podcast has encouraged you, helped you, inspired you, or taught you something new, please head over to Apple Podcasts and search for Stop That Business Podcast and leave me a written review. That's one of the ways I know this podcast is impacting your life. Thank you so much. I'll also love to connect with you on Instagram. My handle is at Chichi Ukomadu. Until next time, always remember you have all you need to start that business. I'll see you soon.